So this morning when I came in and looked at our fish, I realized that we are actually starting to enter into the swim up phase. So this is a very important phase that you don't want to miss because after that sack fry stage, those fish start to absorb that yolk sac. Now they've absorbed it and they've swam up, filled their swim bladder full of air and they're actually swimming around right now and they can actually move through the water column within our egg baskets here. So this is the phase when these trout are gonna start to learn to begin feeding. So let's take a look at them. Now it's not all of the fish, but the majority of our trout in the office fish are actively swimming around now. So this is how you know it's time to start beginning to feed them the size zero food that comes in your initial shipment for your trout in the classroom. So all I'm gonna do is take a one little pinch of food and I'm gonna add it to the egg basket where these fish are swimming around. And I'm just gonna observe. I don't wanna add too much because we don't wanna just source a whole bunch of ammonia to our system and cause an ammonia spike. That's too big, the fish can't handle it, but you will see some of these fish actually are beginning to feed, which is awesome. So it's important to note that some of these fish might actually not learn how to feed in the initial stages. So it's not uncommon to experience a little bit of mortality during this phase. So it's something you might expect uh, when you're trout in the classroom fish. So with this size zero food, I'm gonna add a, another pinch to our second egg basket here and just observe. And you'll see some of the some of them are, are rising to the surface and actually feeding on it. Some of them are feeding on it after it sinks. But it's very important to do this so that these fish can learn how to feed. You don't want to miss this step. You're going to want to feed them several times a day during the first few days to ensure that these fish do learn how to feed. And we're going to do that for about a week, maybe two weeks, depending on how big the fish get before we actually release them from the egg baskets and into our aquarium.